title, The Glorious Kingdom of Sleep Jaya. Long before the archipelago, we now know as Indonesia was united under one nation, it consisted of various kingdoms that came and went throughout history. One of the earliest and most renowned of these kingdoms was Srivijaya. Its story is one of glory, power and cultural exchange. Srivijaya emerged as a formidable maritime kingdom in the 7th century and lasted until around 1400 AD. Located on the island of Sumatra, Srivijaya controlled strategic trade routes between India and China. The kingdom's position allowed it to flourish alongside the bustling trade that occurred between these two ancient civilizations. The capital city of Srivijaya, Palembang, became a prospering center of trade and cultural exchange. Merchants from all over Asia traveled to Palembang to engage in commerce, bringing with them a wealth of goods, ideas, and customs. This vibrant exchange of cultures enriched the kingdom and contributed to its growth and prosperity. Srivijaya was known for its powerful navy, which helped secure its dominance in the region. The kingdom's skilled and fearless sailors navigated the treacherous waters, protecting their trade routes from pirates and rival kingdoms. The navy's prowess allowed Srivijaya to maintain control over other nearby islands, expanding its influence and establishing tributary states. During its golden age, Srivijaya experienced a significant cultural and intellectual flourishing. The kingdom was a center of Buddhist learning, attracting scholars and monks from all over Southeast Asia. The scholars translated and preserved ancient Indian texts, spreading knowledge and enriching the intellectual atmosphere of Srivijaya. However, as time passed, Srivijaya faced increasing challenges. Rival kingdoms, such as the Chola Empire from South India, sought to control the lucrative trade routes. Wars and conflicts weakened Srivijaya, and the kingdom began to lose its grip on its territories. The decline of Srivijaya was accelerated by the rise of new players in the region, such as the Majapahit Empire. By the 14th century, Srivijaya's power waned and its influence diminished. The once glorious kingdom faded into the annals of history, leaving behind a legacy of maritime power, cultural exchange and Buddhist scholarship. As we reflect on the first known Indonesian kingdom, Srivijaya, we are reminded of the rich history that shaped the archipelago we now call home. Its achievements in trade, culture and intellect continue to inspire and intrigue, reminding us of the resilience and ingenuity of our ancestors.